For this exercise, exercise S12, Joe's Coffee House, we're working with Section 5 Managing Charts for your MOS 200 Excel certification exam. And in this, we're going to learn how to create, modify, and format charts. So make sure that you have downloaded S12 Joe's Coffee House um, file to begin with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a chart. You can already see on this sheet we're in Q1 T sales is the worksheet that we're working in right now. And you can see that we already have a chart over here to the right quarterly sales. But we're going to create a new chart and it's just going to be dealing with the month of March. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight March's sales with the header. We want to keep the header. So we're going to highlight March. Now hold down your control button and come over here and highlight types of T's on down. You may not see the gray up there, but it is highlighted uh, right there. Types of T's and hold that on down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to, if we're in the home button, we're going to click insert. And over here we have our charts and just understanding this that a lot of times uh, these recommended charts and these right here will not be the ones that are going to be on your exam. Just to click these little buttons right here. Uh, they're going to ask you, uh, you know, a little bit more. So we're going to click this pop out right here in the charts um, grouping under recommended charts. We're going to click on that. And in this case, we're going to use a clustered column chart, a bar chart is horizontal a column chart shows vertical and we're going to choose a custom column chart so just go ahead and click ok and now we're just going to grab that chart and move it down here below our table okay. if it'll let me move come on okay. so we're just going to move it right there below our table okay. and you've created your first chart okay we've completed step number one step number two is we're going to create a chart worksheet so that the only thing on the worksheet is the chart you know right now we can create a new sheet right there we can click the button and we have our new sheet pop up right there and we can create a new sheet but you may get a question on your exam that says something like uh, move a chart uh, to its own worksheet so what we're going to do right now is while we're here in Q1 uh, T sales, quarter one T sales, we're going to click on uh, the quarterly sales chart. So just go ahead and click anywhere on that chart. We can scroll over here and see the chart. Just click anywhere okay, on there and you'll notice and I'll click off. So we have our buttons here at the top file, home, insert, page, formulas, data, review, view, automate, help and F math. Notice when I click on the chart, I get two new um, tabs up there at the top. I get chart design and format, and we're going to be dealing with both of these today. So a lot of times we'll say go to chart design. That means you need to click on the chart, click on chart design. So in this case, we're going to click on and make sure you've clicked on chart design. And then to the very right, you have a button that says move chart. Okay. And so we're going to click on move chart, and it's going to ask us, where we want the chart to be placed. Do we want it, you know, an object in an existing chart or do we want a new sheet? And so if it says move to its own worksheet, you'll click on new sheet. And we're just going to go ahead and rename this sheet uh, right now. And it may or may not ask you to do that on your exam, but we're going to name this new sheet uh, quarterly sales because that's what our chart is. And we're going to click OK. And notice you see down here at the bottom, I have a new tab between T's and Q1 T sales. And that's my quarterly sales. Notice that there's no lines or anything on it. It's just the chart. Okay. And now you have a chart sheet. So we've completed step number two. We're going to move on to step number three, which is modifying charts. We're going to add data series to a chart. So we're not talking about data labels or things like that. We're talking about adding data series. We want to add more data to the chart. So right here, and I'm going to make this a little smaller so we can see it better. Okay. So right here, um, we have this chart right here, and it's just for the month of March. We just created this chart. So we grabbed March and types of T's, and it named it March for us. And we have our T's down here at the bottom uh, on here. And so the question may be, 
something like add a data series to the chart. So for this chart, we want to add January and February to the chart. So I'll show you an easy, quick way to do that. And just go ahead and click on the chart. And notice that I have this purple over here and I have this blue. And one of the great things about Excel is it tells you what it's pointing at or the formula it's using. It uses different colors, so it's easy to identify. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our mouse. And notice I have this as a plus button, a big fat plus button. I'm going to take my mouse and I'm going to go over here to the left of where it says March. And I'm going to grab that little blue square at the bottom. And I'm just going to drag it and include January and February. And you notice that when I did that, it added January and February to this. I'm going to undo this. I, you can follow along in this case where I'm going to undo this. But what if we the question was add quarterly sales so you can compare March to your quarter? So you could just grab it, hold your mouse button down to the right in this case. And now you can compare, in this case, your March sales to your quarterly sales. And notice when I hover over it, it shows um, my data there. But in this case, for this assignment and what you're doing, I'm going to go ahead and click my back button here. You can click Control Z, and that will go back. Uh, what we want to do for this is move it to the left and include January and February. So the other thing we're going to do this is we're going to add a legend. So we're looking at this, and I don't know what blue is. I don't know what the orange is. I don't know what the gray is. So we're going to add a legend. So make sure we've clicked anywhere in this chart. Go up here to the top, chart design. Scroll to the left, add chart element. And we're going to choose legend to the right. And now we know that January is in blue, February is in March. Another way to do that, I'm going to just back, click back is notice when I click on the chart, I get this plus button over here to the right, and that's chart elements. And right here, we can go in and add a legend right there as a little bit faster. And we can even click that we want it to the right. Okay. So there's two different ways. Both are correct for your exam. Okay. All right, so we've completed step number three. We'll move on to step number four, which is modifying charts, switching between rows and columns in a chart. So we're going to stay on this chart right now that we have, Q1T sales. And notice that we have our product type on the bottom, uh, chai tea, <coughs> English blend, and those type of things that's in our horizontal. And axes, that's our X axes down here at the bottom. X is horizontal and Y is our vertical, and our other axes over here as our horizontal. We have January, February, and March. And so you may get a question that says something like switch or swap out the, the axes or modify it uh, between rows and charts. So you may get where it says switch or swap. So go ahead and just click on the chart anywhere. We'll go up here to chart design, and right here to the right in our data grouping, it's switch, row, and column. So if we click on that, we want to see if that might be a little bit better. And so now we show January chai tea. Wow, the sales were big. February and March, it dropped down because maybe it was cold over here. And as it warmed up, you know, or we had less customers so we can see what's going on there. OK, so if it says switch or swap, we now know what to do. Now we're going to go on to step number five, which is common chart modifications. And these are very common modifications, and you can see any one of these on your exam, where it might add, ask you to add a vertical axis title, to modify the legend possibly, add a data label, and adding a chart title. So we're going to do this over here in the T's tab. So go ahead and click on the T's tab. And we have Joe's Coffee House right here, and we have our stuff. And I'm going to just make this a little bit smaller so it's easier to read. I'm going to switch the layout. Okay, so here's we have our information. And I'm just going to again make it a little smaller so you can see it better. Okay, and we have our chart there. So the first thing that we're going to do is there's two ways on chart elements. I can click on the chart and you have this plus button here. This will be the fastest way. Or we can go up here to chart design. And when we click on chart design, we have add chart element. 
and over here you know this gives us a little bit more information that's easier and this button this plus button over here on the right is just quicker so we can do both ways I'm going to go into chart design and chart elements each time so as we do that each time we'll just get faster and faster uh, over time so the very first thing it asks us to do is add an axis title so if I click on chart design add chart element over here to the left and axis title it asks me for my primary or my vertical okay and in this case we want our vertical title and we click on it and we have this access title here we can click here and you'll have to backspace delete out of here and we want to rename this price and we'll go up here use your up button and backspace it okay, right there okay. and so we've renamed this price again chart design chart element we chose access title primary vertical Okay, and then just changed it. The next is we're going to add a chart title. So we can go to chart design, add chart element, and it's asking us chart titles. Not axis titles, chart titles. We can go centered above chart. We want above chart. Okay, right there. And our axis title that we're going to do is we're just going to rename this to 12 ounce cup. And because we have a chart title, guess what I don't need? I don't need this legend over here, especially since it's just one product. Okay, so I don't need a legend to tell me necessarily too much. So there's a couple ways to do this. We can click on chart design, add chart element. And if your chart design is gone, just click anywhere on the chart and it will come back up. Chart design, add chart element. We can go to legend and say none. The other thing that we could have done on that, and I'll back this up so you can see it, is I could have just clicked on it and deleted it. Okay, is another way too. Okay, so that we got rid of and we changed the, the legend. The last thing that we're going to do on this chart is add data labels. And I'm going to show you how to do that using your chart element. There's also a quicker way to do it. So I'm going to show you both ways. We can click on the chart, chart design add chart element and if we click on data labels it's asking us where we want it do we want it in the center i don't like it in the center because you can't read it you know inside end no it's at the top but i still can't read it inside base can't read it outside in that's what i want or you can choose data call out which it could be very nice at times you know it calls us out especially if you want it to to be seen better but we're going to use outside end so very easy to see. Uh, now this won't be on your exam, but I'll just show you a few other things. I don't like these lines in here now that I have this chart element. So I'm gonna click on the lines, click in here on these lines and know that notice now that I got these little blue and we'll learn more about this area, these blue dots in between. That means this is what I'm working on and I'm just gonna hit delete. And it gets rid of those lines so now it's a little bit easier to see now that i added the chart element the data labels you do not need to do that for your exam i was just showing you a little bit more to do another way to do this and i'm going to back this up twice is i can just right click on these blues these blue column bars and notice now that i have these little blue at each of the corners and i can click add data label there and it's going to add it to the top unless I go in and click the button to the right and then choose it somewhere else. And again, I'm gonna get rid of these lines. And we just completed step number five. Step number six is we're gonna add or change the chart layout. So you can make it a question that says, change the layout of the chart in the T's worksheet, or they'll name the worksheet, to chart layout five. So we can see over here, if we've clicked off of this, click anywhere on our chart, choose chart design, and over here on the left next to add chart element is quick layout. And so it's asking us to change this to layout number five. And so you just have to scroll over and find number five, which will be the fifth. Okay, there's about nine layouts available or 10. And we're just going to click on layout number five and notice that it changed our layout for us, okay? 
and it's that simple on your exam. Question number seven is going to see, say, apply a chart style. Okay, so besides a quick chart type, there's also a chart style. So those are separate than a layout type versus a chart style. So I'm going to click on this again, and we have our chart design, and we have our layout over here, but it's asking for chart styles, which is in our grouping right here. And it may say something like, uh, do group style five. And so we're going to come over here and I'm going to choose style five. So just understand there's a difference between layout, which is here on the left, and styles, which is here in the center. So don't confuse those on your exam. And so now we just changed it. We have this nice layout. And again, I may go in here. This is what I would do in real life and get rid of those lines. Okay. And I would change some other things in real life. But this is what we're just learning now to prep you for your exam. The last thing that we're going to do is says add alternative text to charts. And alternative text, this is for adding for the accessibility. So if you remember on some of the very first assignments that we did, we talked about the accessibility. And we went in and looked. So if somebody is, is sight impaired for any reason and they're trying to figure out what's going on in this chart, uh, there is programs, uh, text to uh, speech programs, um, that will tell them what's in the chart. So you will have to do this on your exam uh, to add alternative text to a chart. Okay, And so you simply click on the chart. And instead of chart design now, we're going to click on format. And under format, right under that is alternative text in the accessibility grouping. We're going to click on alternative text. We're going to have a pop up here. And on your exam, it may give you what it wants to be the alternative text where you can copy and paste it because uh, you want to do it right. But here we're just going to write in uh, what this um, chart is and it's prices for the different T's for a 12 ounce cup. Okay. And now we can just click anywhere else out of there or click on the X. And if there's a person with, uh, with visually impaired, it will now uh, voice that to them as to what is a chart. All right. This was our first go around of, of working on modifying and changing charts. We're going to do another one uh, here in a minute. But this is our assignment number 12 was complete. For those of you that are joining us for your MOS 200 certification, thank you. If you're in the 1400 management 1400 class or another one, please save the file, adding your last name, first name, and then uploading it in the appropriate place. Thank you for joining us.